I'm Tammy and I'm here with Noelle Blair, the owner of Positive Directions Canine Academy. And today we're talking about harnesses. Yes. A lot of people think harnesses are fabulous, but they're not so much, are they? Yeah, they're not as hot as you might think they are. Right. Um, harnesses come in different shapes and sizes. Um, the one that we've got on Titus today is one that is a front connect. So um, the leash actually connects to the front of the dog which um, means that the dog's gonna be spun around if they start to pull. Um, there's several things that you should know when you're looking at a harness for your dog. The first one is that your dog's shoulders are not attached anywhere on their, on their body. I didn't even know that. It's crazy, isn't it? That, that is crazy. Yep, they don't have collarbones and we do. So, wow. yeah. So the only thing holding the um, shoulders on is the skin and um, muscles, right? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> giving you a kiss. He's giving me kisses. So what a lot of these harnesses actually end up doing is um, they restrict the front um, end as far as how well the dog can move. Um, some of them have great big breastplates and those breastplates actually will force the dog's legs apart. Ooh, I yeah. didn't know that either. Yeah. Wow. Not fun. Um, some of them have very small openings, um, meaning that the, um, the opening where the legs come through, there's not a whole lot of room or a whole lot of opening into the dog's body, which again, restricts that, <laughs> that movement <laughs> from, um, from coming forward. Can we turn this them one, that way so they can see it? Yeah, yeah this one um, actually fits in his armpits, if you can see right here where my hand is. And as he's moving, it rubs. Um, it also fits directly across his shoulder blade. So his shoulder blade starts here, and ends here and it's fitting almost directly across that shoulder blade so that's also going to impede that forward motion now the other thing that people need to be aware of when they're um, thinking about a harness is that the harness fits around the most powerful part of the dog's body so while a harness achieves um, one goal of putting no pressure on the dog's neck it actually makes more problems because it encourages pulling so most dogs, when they get a harness on, they feel that urge to pull. It's like putting your dog in four wheel drive and then not letting him use that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So and you might do a face plant on the pavement then. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, so some good things about harnesses, um, if you need to, most of them have a handle. So you can pick the dog up like a suitcase if you need to move them around. <laughs> they also work well as doubling up for um, safety in the car. You can just simply sit the seat belt between the dog and the harness and um, attach them in so that they're not floating around in there and become a, a projectile in case you have to stop suddenly or somebody hits you and you're not aware that they're coming. That's better, bud. Yeah, better, better. So um, Titus is our subject today. He's being pretty good. He's an old man. He's 16? He's 16. He's 16. almost 16 and a half. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> he's, he's an very, old guy. He's, he's like 120 and yeah. Yeah, he's been around the block a couple times. So one thing we thought that we'd show you is um, taking him off the table and letting Tammy just go down and back with him so that you can see him moving with the harness on and then with the harness off. So we're gonna take a second and get him off the table and get him ready for his close up. I can get him off the table. I can do it if you want to grab the table. Got him? Oh, good boy. Look at that. Okay. All right. Come here, Tidy. Let's go over here. So what I want you to watch is watch how um, far forward his front feet go or his toes. Ideally, we want to see the toes going all the way to the end of the nose. So go ahead and, and take him out there. Come on, Titus. Let's go. So I don't know if you saw that, but he had real choppy, stilted movement. Here he comes again. There he is. Whoops. And he shook right when he came in. But if you're watching, you can see how his, that's here, really bud. restricting right his, his front on, end. So now we're going to take the harness here. off and um, let you see what he looks like when the harness is not on. Well, and it honestly, get back over here. <laughs> it honestly looks a little painful on the front to him. Mm -hmm. Yep, him. it's almost like it's making him limp. It is. Okay, let's take this off. All right, are you ready? Come over here. Ready. Find heel, bud. All right, and are you ready? Let's go. So now Come watch on. how far forward his feet go. So as you can see, um, they're going a lot further forward. This old boy's got um, plenty of arthritis, so his movement's a little bit restricted, but 
you can see he's moving a lot easier and freer now that that harness is off. Well, but let's go. If you have your dog in a harness for long periods of time, or you go for long walks, or they wear it all the time, that can cause um, damage to the soft tissue. Mm. And it can actually affect, especially if you've got it in a young dog who's still growing, how they grow and how they use their body. And um, the more restricted the movement, the more likely it is that they're gonna have long-term injuries and orthopedic problems. Yeah. Yeah, and you could definitely see how he his legs only went a little way mm -hmm. when he had it on, and when he, without even with the arthritis without it on, yep. he's stretching a lot farther. Yes, in he is. front, he is. That's for sure. So, um, if you're going to get a harness, remember that the harness is meant to be used when you want your dog to pull. So, for activities like um, ski joining or ski joining, depending on your <laughs> impulses. Um, for tracking, having the dog out in front of you and searching for um, whatever's lost. Um, also for pulling things, so like putting them in a cart or um, that type of activity. Like the larger breeds. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. So a harness is great, but it's not meant to be used for control. It's meant to be used for pulling. So that's our little bit about harnesses. Awesome. If you want to know more and you want to sign up for classes with Noelle, we're going to drop a link to her website just in the description below. Mm -hmm. We're also going to drop some other helpful links that you might find interesting. And we would like for you to subscribe to our channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you again. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for watching.